It's Warcraft Yay Freezing everybody and welcome back to another Warcraft 3 cast this time around this is going to be a replay request It is going to be on turn stand and it is by once again our regular replay requester called red Okay, I have everything in place and Thankfully booster is running I don't see the resources. There we go. Okay, can we switch to Blizzard? This is a ladder mat, so this, we're gonna switch up to Blizzard, change back to the default colors, and get back to this game then. By the way, before I begin, one, uh, one last thing to cover up. I am taking replay requests. If you got a game, uh, you got a game which you want me to cast, just send it me across on discord and i will have a look at it anyways getting back to this game we got fred spawning over here blue human at the bottom right he will be facing up against a player known as your you are usa 7 or your usa 7 let's call him usa 7 for convenience who is spawning as the orange orc on the top left usa orc opening up with blade master and fred opening up with archmage Classic choices on a newer map. Well, this exactly isn't a newer map. This is Terror Understand LV, the latter version, the updated version, uh, which got updated about two years ago, like not too long ago. There, you got Goblin Merchant Camp right in front of your base. Goblin Mercenary. Uh, that's not a Goblin Mercenary. I call it Goblin Mercenary again and again by mistake. So we got Goblin. Uh, we got a Mercenary Camp nearby. The gold mine is exactly where it was, the natural expansion. And uh, the second gold mine, the optional one, is also pretty nearby. Apart from that, you have the tower in the middle, and the goblin labs have been shifted to a distant location, which are a bit inaccessible, but they are used from time to time. Orc Blade Master out on the field will buy what I like to call the Orc Starter Pack. And then head in towards perhaps a green camp or perhaps it's just going to get a kill on an item giver it appears that Fred wants to go in for an expansion he's going in towards this camp uh, pulling in all the militiamen there he does not have enough resources to go for the expansion yet uh, still needs a, uh, a bit of lumber there to get the expansion down no scouting has been done from either of the sides so far uh, we got the blade master heading in towards uh, where the human player's face and uh, but we are careful then not to lose that fo uh, footman to the creeps there pendant of energy all right that's a really good item actually for fred he got a really good drop there and he will definitely choose to pass that on to the mountain king later on later on heading in checks up this camp which is a camp that human players like to creep out early on uh, notices that Fred has not crept that out, so he knows something is fishy. He's gonna try and look for the human army. Will spot them near the expansion, and he knows that an expansion is underway. He will go after the footman immediately. Will get the kill over there, and Fred will manage to shake him off without too much, uh, without taking too much damage. But here he comes. He has uh, enough mana for at least. and go for the there we'll try to kill them one by one manage to kill at least two of them one footman so he got some damage done there I wouldn't really say that it's nothing it's something definitely but not really enough for uh, Fred to give up that expansion or actually uh, lose uh, any kind, anything very significant. He can get those, get the peasant back, and can the can get the footman back real, real easily. So, orc blade master gonna go towards the shop. Got himself a boots of speed. It is that time of the night, of course, where he, it is available. Now, what's he gonna do? Gonna go after those peasants once again. Uh, Fred is taking kind of a gamble over here. He knows that a blade master is lurking nearby. Uh, although he did not creep too far away, going for the orange camp is a bit dangerous there. Hit on the blade master that will cancel off the clarity potion. 
and uh, while the expansion is up it's not exactly operational uh, it's not fully operational and uh, Fred needs to get that operational real real soon okay a moment there um, the blade master using staff for teleportation to get back to his base and uh, yes really classic work here I must say question of uh, clarity and uh, the healing cell will be used and what do we have here Uh, USA Orc went in for the troll headhunters instead of grants. He went in for the war mill, uh, built his barracks late, and was uh, just lurking around the map solo with the Blade Master without having any grunts in the back line. So he's going to pick up a Dark Ranger as the second hero. Rather interesting choice. I, I, I'm not really sure if I've seen. Hero for with the blade. especially especially against human players where the dark ranger can cast the black arrow and then the blade master can pick apart the target until un, until it is under the effect of black arrow by that is and uh, okay I, it, I did see the black arrow go down but I guess it didn't reach the plus gonna get a couple of skeleton warriors there so it is going to be the orc army and the army of skeleton warriors of that Dark Ranger, this is going to be really dangerous for Fred. Now he's doing the right thing of targeting down that Dark Ranger. Dark Ranger gonna back out lightly for a moment and then uh, re engage back towards that footman there. Blade Master should be managed to follow it and get it down, but it is not under the effect. Now it is. Got out of the effect of the Black Arrow there. Oh, oh. And he will take it down. Something that seemed to be very detrimental there. Uh, uh, Fred after losing a couple of footmen and uh, having them convert into skeleton archers finally managing to push back uh, USA orc and uh, will revive the dark ranger at the base just a level one hero not really gonna take too long to get it back uh, USA orc going tier 3 and uh, also dropping down a spirit lodge Fred is only just going to hit tier 2. He has a lot of gold available in the bank and uh, yeah, I don't really like this uh, build order here. I mean to say the base placement. You have a good amount of space over there. If you ha if your hero by accident spawns back there, then you're going to be in a pickle. You don't really want that situation to exist at all. So Fred now seems to be wanting to go for this camp. Doesn't really have enough firepower, if you ask me. He, it is a level three archmage, but I mean, well, let's see how it turns out to be. It gets purged immedi immediately, and uh, static shield. There we go. Blade Master, although making its way back to the expansion, the expansion is well guarded with a good number of towers and an arcane tower. So this time around, the Blade Master is not really going to be able to do too much over there if it plans to uh, stick around. But no, that's not its plan. Its plan is to go and creep and creep jack and it got kills on two footmen that is huge that is huge also stole an item there okay not the ogre strength not the best but it is a steal nonetheless another footman he got three footman kills uh fred losing a good number of footmen over here very very, very sloppy on the side of fred i must say dark ranger is back but uh usa orc isn't creeping around with it he should be Using it for some creeping. Torrent totem being dropped. Okay, so are we gonna see torrents? I guess we are. Uh, USA Oak should take out these apprentice wizards. The level 1, and I think they should give enough experience points to the Blade Master to hit level 3. No, they're not. They're not gonna give him enough. But he will nonetheless be closer, and perhaps. Dark Ranger on the other side of the map is creeping the same camp there. Uh, should be doing a bit more we got some witch doctors coming in so i he's also going in for shaman adept training so he's gonna go for bloodlust um and uh torrents rather interesting choice fight going on it appears that fred spotted the blade master the blade master is going to follow that footman it doesn't really have enough mana to do a wind walk you gotta be a bit careful there he's gonna lose some mana while he goes into the range of that arcane tower and he ends up losing all his mana and speaking of feedback damage by the arcane tower we got another unit that's going to be dealing feedback damage the spellbreaker 
So Fred's gonna be training a couple of spell breakers over here, and a situation like this can be dangerous if there's an MK around. So Blade Marshal gonna TP near the place where the entire army was creeping. So he's gonna gain level over there, level f uh, plus five claws of attack there. Pretty good. Should pass it on to the Blade Master, but there's not enough space. Should pass on the Gauntlet. You can do that. You can pass on the Gauntlet and uh, have the Claws of Attack plus six, uh, plus five. It's not six, plus six anymore. All right, Alchemist uh, is going to be the second hero choice for Fred. A rather interesting choice. We have seen some use of Alchemist. It's not really. Uh, not done before at all. Alchemist can uh, work out as a really good second hero for a lot of uh, For a lot of heroes like for a lot of races as well. Night Elves uh, love to use it with uh, the Keeper of the Grove You can use it as an undead. You can even use it as an orc and uh, As far as human is concerned, I think this can work out really well considering the fact that human players have low HP units the mass number of units you can heal with the heal spray is going to be super useful and heal spray is the upgrade that he went for and yeah having booster on is just great it appears that the blade master finally transferred the gauntlet of ogre strength to the dark ranger there also the speed scroll and uh oh berserker upgrade there we go we got the berserker upgrade and now these trolls are berserkers Fred is crossing upkeep. He can afford to do so because he has the expansion down. He also have like he has like 1k gold in the bank, so he d it just just doesn't matter to him. He can afford to take all of that. Uh, he's going tier three, getting a couple of uh, casters, and uh, he has decided to have a caster army, which I guess should be the way to go. The only thing that he may not be prepared for would be torrents. Otherwise, everything else uh, he should manage to face off with. Uh, the caster army that he has and uh, what he's planning for. So he's gonna get a zeppelin. Interesting choice. He's gonna get the zeppelin. Should be a bit careful there. Get engaged or rather enraged the creeps. Uh, it appears that USA Orc wants to expand and Fred's actually not really doing the best job as far as uh, sneaking is concerned. Whenever you're using a zeppelin you want to sneak across the edges of the map and not like go in from the front and be like come and get me so he's gonna drop right exactly where the gold line is gonna drop all of his units and start dealing some damage he picked up the art mate okay that probably, probably a mistake there or maybe not i guess he wanted experience there but he dropped it back all of the peons being pulled into the burrows there uh Fred using the tp does not want to take any chances it appears that orc army does look a bit scary and I, Especially with uh, Bloodlust and the Berserk ability, these things can actually attack really fast and deal a lot of damage while doing so. And of course you have the Blade Master in the front. So, it's gonna be really dangerous. Really, really dangerous. Fred! Uh, using the TP to get back to his base, although I wouldn't really say that there was exactly no way for him to escape. He could have easily used the Zeppelin to go towards the back line and then escape from that side because uh, US York wouldn't exactly just uh, go into his base just like that. There's there's a lot of buildings over here that he had to pass through, so yeah, there, would, there could have been another situation there, but for the time being, that is what we have. And USA Orc act is wreaking havoc inside the base of uh, Fred here. Fred is Fred's army. It's in the Zeppelin again. Fred is going in from the middle path. Uh, he doesn't really have a lot of firepower with him. Spellcasters, breakers and stuff don't really deal that much damage. But they will do the job. We're taking a lot of damage over here. Getting his casters killed. Perhaps should cast a slow there. He has dropped them, and this time around, the breakers are going to be stealing the bloodlust. Blade Master coming back. Fred needs to back out. And he use the Zeppelin. He doesn't have the TP. He has to use the Zeppelin. Uh oh, this doesn't look good. Zeppelin being targeted. Got purged. Zeppelin is getting purged. USA are doing a really good job. He should do it again. USA or didn't get a single I think he got one kill. He, okay, he got he probably got one spellbreaker kill. 
uh, considering the fact that there are two spellbreakers retreating and one elemental inside uh, the zeppelin there so he had he had a, an army of uh, breakers plus the two heroes and uh, yeah the, the, the elemental wasn't there when he picked it up early early on while going in for the push Ooh, it appears that fred's got some knights now going in for animal war training as well He is rich. He is filthy rich right now. 18k gold. Like at this point, he should be putting down like what three barracks, or going in for all sorts of upgrade. He does have uh, the for the second attack and defense upgrades for all melee units and spell rakers. So one thing going around for him. Should get all the upgrades. Should get uh, mastery training. Yes, he is getting inner fire. Expansion up and ready for USA Orc. Fred has no knowledge of this. He has not done any kind of scouting. So far he has done two... Ah, some hit and run attempts. Where he managed to kill something, lose something. Uh, but it wasn't exactly that good. Could have been better. Like a lot better. Dark Ranger, Blade Master. This can be explored. Can use these heroes and he, okay, he ought, to, he ought to purge this thing. He ought to purge this thing right away if he does not want to take damage on all of his weaker units here. Orcs usually have the orcs usually have like real strong units, but uh, the army composition of USA orc here is of uh, shamans, struggle berserkers, witch doctors, and spirit walkers. So. You know they're not really the stronger unit the, these are not the strength of the orcs these are the range support damage dealers etc etc they are not what stands in front in the front line and uses brute strength like the grunts and raiders thorns reds coming in a lot of magic steel there at the breakers sentry wards or rather status traps they're gonna burst stun number one Healing wards place it down as well. Fred can actually take control of those as well if he wants to. Spirit link. Healing wave. Or rather healing spray. Fred getting some momentum there. I believe the torrents are reviving each other. One, another heal spray. Archmage, Archmage. Potion of Invul. USA Orc is going to lose everything. And this game will go to Fred. Without a doubt. Got a Torin on the field, but at this point, it's too late. USA work finally leaves the game and gives the victory to Fred. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this replay request. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you have enjoyed what you've seen, do not forget to hit the like button. Subscribe for more. And as I said early on during the start of the game, I am taking replay requests. If you've got a game which you want me to cast, just send it to me across on Discord and I will have a look at it time being i think we are done and up here games okay so we're gonna end the recording for this one thanks everyone for joining in and i will see. bye for now <laughs>